All right. Uh, hello, everybody. Good morning to all of you. Um, talking about the answer to gravitation or report today. Um, it's going to be intense. Okay. Um, this is going to be a preview of what it's coming in. If you watched the uh, uh, full report about uh, Venus uh, retrograde, I show you, I teach you a little bit to understand uh, how the retrograde works. And what is so important to understand the process of learning because we are learning through this all of us one way or another uh, another one it's we're gonna have a, a workshop in Spain I already um, did the contract uh, with the hotel it is in Malaga Spain the hotel name it's Il Union I don't know how properly to pronounce it hopefully I pronounce it right but talking about the today's energy the moon is in libra and is going to be giving you this preview of what the libra season is she in the last two days she showed us what what a virgo season is going to be now when it moves into a libra then it's going to be showing us the season of scorpio uh, but in the next two and a half days pay attention of this libra movement because there's going to be some a lot a lot um divine energies in there involved you to have this inner fight, you to have this in situations from within. All this is connecting with Venus that is in Leo. Uh, talking about uh, this Venus and Leo, and it's about uh, three weeks and about two, three days when we are going to have the new moon in Leo. That is going to be triggered. But it all begins with what are you feeling it right now? Because the sun entering Leo. The authority when to learn how to grow its authority. Either gonna show up your immature authority or you're gonna take your hands and develop your authority within. Uh, all this it's leading with these positions with Pluto talking about this inner war uh, in there. I talked about like uh, you know a new moon and cancer full moon uh, and Aquarius video as well. Uh, but talking about this Pluto positions is the two forces fighting from within. Pluto is retrograde, this is a soul. It's telling you what. Look at your authority in the real world. Um, the moon is uh, gonna be blind about uh, the visions. At the beginning you are blind. That's what the truth has to be blind for. That you not to make a judgment, but you actually to justify it, uh, your actions. You to make the balance in there. This is why um, the lady, hold on, the Virgo, hold on, the Libra, she is blindfolded. And this is what it's important that you don't have to judge people, but you have to look at it, situations that it's from within yourself and uh, be mindful about these wars within you. Because right now, Mercury and uh, Venus, they're going to be coming together, but they are going to be scoring Uranus. And the thing is, the sun is going to be coming in uh, that positions. That square is going to be a little bit more intense, talking about it, and the vibrations and the energies as well. And when we have the new moon in Leo, that is actually is going to be Lilith, Venus, and uh, the sun and uh, the moon all together again. So this is going to be preparations for this. So if you wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, you're still going to feel this beautiful divine energies within soul with Venus that has been shifting in retrograde. Venus shift. Good. Let's go with the divine love in there. Uh, beautiful energy is going to be about 8 o'clock because the ascendant joins Venus. These, these rising energies are there. But the mid-heaven energies, the inner work that you're going to focus with it, is together with Uranus, which is squaring the ascendant Venus, Lilith, and Mercury. You're like, okay, well, I see this is coming. Okay, uh, be mindful with the communications with this square because usually Mercury, when those don't have any kind of pretty much other aspects except squares, that leads to lack of communications, desire not to have communications, but it's about you to go in a hermit mode, looking from what you knew. You need to learn at some point, you need to learn and sit down with yourself and learn about yourself. Uh, the 9 o'clock energy is going to be with Mars. Mars is opposing Saturn right now, but he is trying Jupiter. He is looking at to prove his growth. 
Okay, he's like, in, I don't want to learn, I want to act. I learned enough. Okay, somebody comes in and tells you, you need to learn this, you need to study this, and you're like, you know what, I got enough of study, I need to work. Um, 10 o'clock energy, the ascendant is going to be at Virgo, and the mid heaven is going to be at uh, Gemini, that is going to be uh, better as energies, because of uh, the ascendant is going to tell you, listen, here's the growth, here's what the universe is giving it to you, go and do the things. But at the same time, the ascendant is at about 20 degrees, it's also going to begin to opposing Neptune, it's going to be this blindfolded. So the lady within you, that blindfolded, it is about not to make judgment, it is to justify things. So pay attention to that energy, because that energy in the next hour, which is 11 o'clock uh, there, the midheaven walks into a Cancer, and that is square, the ascendant is squaring uh, Neptune, the visions are blocked. Uh, in there. Why? Because you have to walk within the visions of Venus that is retrograde. You look at it, the soul within love. I believe there's going to be a lot of people who's going to be, wake up. Yeah, you're going to be awakened. That is a, the whole portions in there. You're going to be awakened. But that energy is going to be very powerful, very beautiful, because the mood and the ascendant, the rising energies, they're training with Pluto and they're sextiling the sun. It's like, okay, authority, you're going to be okay. Here's that transformations for you. Uh, talking about like 12 uh, o'clock uh, energies, it's going to be a divine aspect with Jupiter. You're going to see the divine growth within you. At uh, 1 o'clock, the ascendant is going to be with divine energies with Neptune. You're going to see those divine energies. But at 1 o'clock, also mid-heaven, it's together with the sun. You putting that place within the authorities within yourself. What kind of authority are you going to be used? Are you going to be looking into a Neptune? Are you going to be looking into the moon? Are you going to be following this path of self-learning? So uh, later on about uh, 3 o'clock, this energy is going to become intensive. Uh, Mid-heaven, it is joining Lilith, Venus, and uh, Leo. It's squaring Uranus, and it's squaring the Ascendant of Scorpio. Those energies that you're going to be seeing the darkness, but what are you going to do with the darkness? Are you going to clear the, 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 the darkness from with you, or are you going to be shining the light with it, and you're going to go deep, where is the roots of that darkness is? And that's what the power of Scorpio is. Okay? Looking at for a more of the things... Uh, 4 o'clock course is going to be intense energies because the ascendant is the 0 degrees of uh, Sag, but that is a divine energies with the North Node. You don't meet the certain things, you don't meet the certain situations. You're looking at to what's going on with these actions because mid heaven is together with Mars. You're looking at why I cannot get this going, why I cannot do this. Well, the destiny says, like, are you ready? When you're ready, things open. When you're not ready, you're not ready on it. So work within you. That is also connecting with the Venus retrograde. If you're ready for that love, you're ready for that love. You're not mature for that love. You have to go back and learn the lessons. Talking about Venus retrograde. Um, beautiful energies is going to be coming at 5 and 6 o'clock because uh, mid it goes with the moon uh, in Libra, creating a balance. Divine energies with Saturn is going to be Coming in, ascendant is a divine energies with Jupiter. Following those paths, those energies is about like, I will use my spirit to evolve and grow. And that growth is going to lead to the growth in material world. That's what the energy is. Otherwise, if you have these actions of you trying to act on it without knowing what you're doing, really, then Mars is suppressed. Mars is suppressed with what? With Saturn. You don't know what you're doing. And you want to learn. You don't want to learn. You already learned what you have to. You have to apply that knowledge of the spirit to the soul. Going within your mind. And to the right actions. That's how it shows that you grow. By actions you show up what you did. Uh, 6 p.m. Uh, mid heaven is uh, still at Libra. That is going to be a beautiful calm down energy. Um, a lot of you is going to be feeling those beautifications. But there is something bugs your mind. There is something goes on. And at 7 o'clock, you're going to find what is bugging you. 
your subconscious way that you have to be in control of everything. No, you cannot be. The midheaven that is four degrees is squaring the sun right now at zero degrees of Leo and it is squaring Pluto and at the same time it is squaring the north nodes. Talking about that your authority is going to come down from the shadow, from your subconscious things that you are going and trying to control. And in the next hour at eight o'clock, you are going to have to dig deep. I mean deep. Mid heaven, it goes at eighteen degree at the nineteen degrees of um, Scorpio. That is going to be opposing Uranus and Jupiter. Yeah, Uranus says, "You haven't cleared your shadow. I'm not let you go. You need to learn how to communicate. But how you communicate? What are you telling yourself? Are you have this divine authority within you and walk with the energies, or are you standing against the energies?" Are you pulling or are you pushing? What kind of side of the magnet you are? Because two sides of the same magnet tries to put them together. They're not going to come by. They're not going to match. They're going to be pushing away. But try the south and the north pole of a magnet and boof. They're going to be coming together. How are you going to be? So uh, talking about this at uh, 9 o'clock, you're going to be dealing with what the ascendant was at Satch uh, earlier and uh, this is going to be squaring Mars, it's going to be squaring Venus and it's going to be squaring Saturn. Uh, enough of learning. Yeah, but somebody has to learn. I send you back to review. This is why Saturn is retrograde, Pluto is retrograde, Neptune is retrograde and now we have a Venus retrograde. We are walking within the retrograde season and our retrograde season, thank God, there is a retrograde season because it makes us better. We are learning things by going back, going back and review, reevaluate, reset, readjust to make it a better world within us from ourselves and then that reflects out in the world. So uh, 10 o'clock energies and 11 o'clock, uh, they're going to be more calm down uh, energies. Mid Kevin at 11 o'clock is going to be at 2 degrees of Capricorn. That energies and divine energies with the sun. You putting these divine energies within you and the authority. You have that beautiful uh, energies. You walked with those energies. You understand them. You remove the conflicts. But by what? By dive within the conflicts. Understand the conflicts. And create mature actions. This is why Jupiter and uh, Mars right now. They are very helpful with inner life, within the current energies. And when you put yourself at 11 o'clock, if you do everything uh, right, everything okay, you're going to feel the peace within the masculine and the feminine energies, which is Mars and Venus. You're going to be okay of what you're practicing because the teacher in you is going to be happy. And at the same time, you're going to have the divine authorities from within you. At the same time, the moon is in divine energies with Jupiter, beautiful energies, because you put this divine intuition within yourself and you made the balance within your life, hopefully. So, uh, guys, thank you for watching it. I uh, well, appreciate it. And if you have any questions or concerns, please put it in the comments below. If you need a private reading, they're available. You can find me on the Facebook. You go to the channel on the tap about, and there is a Facebook link to my page working out to get this a little bit more better but for right now that's how it goes thank you guys be love be patience and stay away from angry communications especially with your own self all right guys love you